Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select the whole of this column. Then I'll go to the Home tab and then go to Find and Select and then go to Special. Then I will select just the blanks and OK. And now I have just the blank cells selected. I'll type equals on the keyboard and then select the cell just above the active cell. Then I will press Control Enter on the keyboard. And Control Enter is the keyboard shortcut to put the formula into all of the selected cells. And in this way, we can fill the values down the column as every cell is now linked to the cell just above it. We can also do the same thing to fill the values up the column. So again, I will go to Find and Select and go to Special. Then I'll select just the blank cells and OK. Then I will type equals and this time I'll select the cell just below the active cell. And then use Control Enter to put that formula into all of the selected cells. And this time the values are filling up the column as every cell is linked to the cell just below it. Now this method works really well, but it is not dynamic. If I delete these values here, then it stops working. If you need for it to be dynamic, then there's another method that you can use. And this involves using the if function. And my logical test will be if this value here is equal to A in quotation marks, as I am using A as a placeholder. But whatever your values are, you will need to adjust the logical test so that it will work for you. Now, if the value is true, I want it to copy the value in the cell just above. And if the value is false, I want it to copy the value in the cell to the side. And then close brackets and enter. And I will drag this formula down. Then I will go to the autofill options and change it to fill without formatting to make it easier for us to see. Now here in this cell, we are testing to see if F6 is equal to A, and it is not, so we go to the value if false part of the formula, and that tells us to copy the value in F6, so we end up with 2.2. Then in this cell here, we're testing to see if this cell is equal to A, and this time it is, so we go to the value if true part of the formula. And this tells us to copy the value in the cell just above, so we end up with 2.2. Then in this cell here, we're testing to see if this is equal to A, and it is, so we go to the value if true part of the formula, so we copy the value in the cell just above, and we end up with 2.2 again. And in this way, we can fill the values down the column. Now we can also fill the values up the column. We'll use the if function again, and the logical test will again be, is this cell equal to A? And if the value is true, this time we want to copy the value in the cell just below. And if the value is false, we again want to copy the value on the side and close brackets and enter. Then I will drag this formula down and change it to fill without formatting. And now in this cell here, we're testing to see if F10 is equal to A, and it is not, so we go to the value if false part of the formula, and that tells us just to copy the value in F10. So we end up with 4.7. Then in this cell here, we are testing to see if this is equal to A, and this time it is. So we go to the value if true part of the formula, and that tells us to copy the value in the cell just below, so we get 4.7. Then in this cell here, we're testing to see if this is equal to A, 
and it is, so we go to the value if true part of the formula, and so we copy the value in the cell just below and get 4.7 again. And in this way, we can fill the values up the column. And this time, if I change the value here, the formulas update and we get 2.2 going all the way down and 6.4 going all the way up. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use formulas to fill values down a column or fill values up a column in Excel. And that is everything.